Tonight on Poker After Dark, Jonathan Little takes a stand. All in. All in. Jake Daniels rides a wave. And Sam Sovereil makes Chris Johnson squirm. Is he cheating? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I didn't hear all in. You're like some kind of masochistic magician. But there's an old saying, the only thing you need to play this game is a chip in a chair. Poker actually isn't about winning and losing. Poker is about making the right decision. When luck shuts the door, you got to come in through the window. Doyle just double checked his whole cards. Doesn't look like he has a flush. What's taking so long? Let's go. Wow, Doyle's doing a lot of talking over there. This could be a bluff. We don't stop playing because we get old. We get old because we stop playing. That's poker, folks. Hello and welcome once again to another edition of Poker After Dark. I'm Ali Najad, bringing you the call from Aria Resort and Casino, where we take you down into the Poker After Dark suite, home of this hybrid cash game, which is in full swing. Hybrid, meaning you get two 20K buy-ins, then you've got to call it a night. The blinds, well, they go up. Starting at 2550, they're now at 5100. Last session, Alex Ding and Jonathan Little got felted, so they're the only two players on their second bullets. Yeah, yeah Alex was <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I feel no, like I'm in. No, no. If I'm Jonathan in. squeezed that all in. Yeah, yeah, you're in trouble. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was going to say, I remember I made a piece <laughs> the board, too. He didn't. Yeah. You have anything? I don't remember what that <laughs> was. Tell me what it was. It's not a squeeze. It's a value. But I had like 12,000. Oh, four, 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 four. You made it like half my <laughs> stack. <laughs> oh, my God. First and goal for the Pats. Come on, now. I hate the Pats. What, tell me what the flop was. I like money slightly more. Jackson on four. I think there was two. If you like money, waking up in the straddle with two queens is a good way to procure more of it, generally speaking. I remember. He had sevens. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop it. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Jesus. Look down at the three deuce and like, oh, do I owe 50? Somehow. I didn't have three deuce. Yeah, I had a big hand. King deuce, king five. I had, I had, yeah, I had a nice, Justin. I had a nice two I was trying to get you off like sixes and then have gonna him lie and like wait with a flat things. call. <laughs> All hearts seven high board. I actually had four or five. And he's got Sovereign's flush draw covered. Yeah, that's, yeah. 200. Small bet, I check. Small. Small bet again. Check, check, rip. I've seen this movie Who before. Wins? Uh, that part's up for grabs. Check. They'll bet like 450. So silly. Troublesome You're turn for Sovereil like, as he hits no. the no, jack. What did you say, 450? Yeah. I can't let you be right, you know? 475. <laughs> 450, he's in there. Yeah, he's like. We're in call. This, uh, now you might, now, now you he might looks get back. The, now you might get the 3,000. Oh, 3,500. Very one. clean yeah. river. Justin playing this one super passive. Will Sam chase value with top pair? Can't help myself. Just like, what do I have? <laughs> oh, I'm not in the sand. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not in the sand. <laughs> Forgot. One Can you imagine you look down and you're like, oh, no. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> do those boxes over there not work? Or? Ray, That's just the way they did. 4,500 now. You think they'd use this, the ones farther away because it's very. The answer is yes, and his 1K promptly yeah. gets check popped to 4,500. That's more towards the middle. That, that makes sense. For TV that, purposes. That's that's probably right. and Sovereign. Queen high. Pays off to oh, the tune oh, of oh. a queen oh, high oh. declaration. Is he cheating? <laughs> <laughs> Show the pocket queens, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was such a special queen high, the queen of hearts to show first too. Queen of diamonds would have been way better to show first. Queen high. 
Oh. Pokercoaching.com. <laughs> You're playing great over there. I know. No, I, I, I know. You're gonna be making a video next month about this, <laughs> for sure. I can't explain why I did what I did. For value. Well, I knew that part. Wait, did you just call preflop? Yeah. Oh, tricky, tricky. More of a cooler than if I would've three bet or something. Like that. No, you would've just won preflop. I sold half my action to Poker Go. What do you want me to do? Mm, that's believable. <laughs> you, get a lot of seats, you get a lot of seats on here. Uh, I do. Yeah, I do. We really bought half of Justin's action? No shot. Yeah, I'm playing so patient right now. <laughs> I just want you to double up one. After that, I don't care what I lose for you, but I honestly want you to double up one of that. <laughs> CJ's double straddle being picked on by... I want to three-quarter you. Jonathan <laughs> Little. <laughs> he might just get Jake blighted Daniels. off. He might just leave. Yeah. <laughs> 1,100 becomes 3,000. I think I started with 25. Jake what about feeling you? Feeling very time? creative with the 10 3 of spades. Gonna have a tough road in front of him. Dry looking flop, but Little has smacked top pair. Daniel Seabet rewarded with a spade on the turn, giving him added equity. 4,600 ahead invested thus far in an over 10K pot. Add to that 6,400. Now that King Jack not sitting in your stomach quite as smoothly as it once was. Hanging in there. No, Jake makes spades. The answer is yes. Ugly run out for King Jack. You get the sense that Jonathan knows Jake is one of the men at this table, capable of the three barrel heroics. All right. Moving all in. Gets called. Hi, Sam. Yuck. What is that? Flush. Flush, right? Okay. Making yeah. sure. That's a big flop. Little. Had it right, kind of. But that nine of spades. 10, 9, 50. Crushed him. Even had a spade to go with it. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Napa Auto Parts and Auto Care Centers. Do it yourself or have it done for you. That's Napa Know How and by Cuervo Tradicional, made with 100% agave since 1795. Time for another hand breakdown from Jonathan Little, this time about one he played. Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Little of PokerCoaching.com, and let's analyze this interesting situation. When you're playing against a loose, aggressive player like Jake, you simply have to be willing to call down decently wide. Most of the time, that's gonna result in you catching a lot of bluffs. However, sometimes they're gonna backdoor a flush and stack you. Realize though that in scenarios like this, you'll often end up winning the pot 70, 80, 90% of the time, but whenever they get there, you're just gonna lose. How would you like to play with me on Poker After Dark? Well, now is your chance. I'm giving away one $5,000 buy-in seat to play with me next season. Head over to pokercoaching.com slash pokerafterdark to enter the giveaway. Damn, even the dealers are not. He tried to get it. He, he hooked it. He boomeranged it around them. They want. They make me do that. <laughs> I bet they do. <laughs> Thank you. Brent no, Shulman high five when you made it 4,500. <laughs> <laughs> like it started shopping. Hey, 550. <laughs> Call. Five fifty. 
Were you trying to race the 550? Or no, no, I was, I was, I was <laughs> looking at yours and verifying the amount. <laughs> Jimmy's got his three bet face on. What'd you call him? Jimmy. Jimmy. I thought his name was Chris. It is. <laughs> okay, all in. All in. Not a lot. Little decides the two eights fold. Fold are good right enough there. to go sailing with. As he piles over the top of Chris Johnson's ace queen three bet, Daniels out of the way, never serious about it with the five deuce. And it'll be. Two times, two complete boards. I hope it was like the exact same spot earlier when Alex did. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get three-quartered on this one. It's, it's hard to get three-quartered on this it's one. Hard. It's hard. But I just hope someone gets three-quartered. So <laughs> <laughs> Eights looking all right. Yeah. Even seven high flop. Evenish. Spade now it's changes the run -run landscape. They've been Solid hot. for you. They've been, well, yeah, they've been hot. Sam got it earlier, too. Run around, push, run around, push, run around, push. Ooh. All right. Yikes. Oh, we're twice. going twice. We're going twice. Wow. Jeez. So first half of the pot goes to Chris Johnson, and now. Up. <laughs> Jonathan Little. It has been goofy, uh, man. It is. What are those hoping questions? to hold yes. what I folded. Oh. Not looking good. What are they doing way over there? I don't know. <laughs> there, I though. folded a while ago. I'm just saying I probably would have lost some there, too. Ace high flop leaves Johnson squarely in the lead. The three dims the light at the end of the tunnel even further. Two outs, one time. We're down to five Ten players. Seven. Baltimore. Not there. All right. All right, man. I have to leave. Right. Congratulations on not last. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy you yourselves. Forty thousand dollars last longer. <laughs> yeah, that was we should have. We should have. Oh man, that would have been fantastic. Yeah. You might have played the eights differently. Follow, don't follow. <laughs> See ya. Yep. Later, man. See ya. Bye. See you, bro. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah, there's no replacements, by the way. Uh, we just play. In. Yeah. Who thought I was going to be the last one out? I mean, I'm a just, short I walk to the in, exit. Like, he's down 30K. Like, 40K lighter in the pocket for Jonathan Little. Sure, you'll be really a tournament pro, Alex. Yes. <laughs> a cold <laughs> one-two punch delivered. Uh, seemed like a bad idea. I couldn't call your shove if I opened. Probably a good bad idea to open. Ding. Right, Shortest stack at the table with just 7,000 and a propensity to rip it in there. Daniels, undeterred by that, raises the straddle. Oh. And that straddle defends. Wheel draw against queen high. Take a peek at the turn, which is a queen giving Daniels the best hand now. That 1100. Oh. Ding. Plunking 1100 out there on the turn. A big investment given how little he had, and the four is a magical card for him. Giving him the wheel, Daniels shutting down. All in. Straight. Alex all moves in. all in. A snap call from Jake with the queen, of course, and a healthy and much needed double. Another cooler. <laughs> I definitely didn't have a queen. That's what we're saying. So a tale of two all-ins. Busto for Jonathan, but a nice double up for Alex. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where the table is now just five-handed with the recent exit of Jonathan Little. Two jacks for Savril. Might be relieved to see Jake out of there on the button. He's been a very sticky customer of late, but it's not Jake Sam needs to worry about. It's 
Chris Johnson wakes up with two red cowboys. Goes upstairs. Makes the decision easy for A7 suited. Sam plunks down the extra 1750. Almost five dimes out there. And a 7 6 deuce flop. <laughs> That's a good one. And it's in the same genre. Yeah. 25, oh, yeah. or, 25 or 6 to 4. You know? I'm trying to remember. You, you, you're probably right. I don't remember singing. It wasn't, sing it wasn't singing anything. Well, yeah. It was one word. <laughs> Really big bet on this flop. I feel like Chicago Rush like sounds right, but I'm like probably totally off. Only there was a way to look up the answer. Yeah, I know. Gosh. Remember like 20 oh. years ago, we just had to not know for a while? No, Sam. I don't. Yeah, I know. Makes the call. Now picks up the only now club I'm draw. Gone in 60 seconds. You know the one I'm thinking yeah. of? Yeah. Can't help it. Low rider, yeah. Yeah, that's right. War, I think. It's a chicken on the bed. What's the extra point? What the fuck? 6,000. Now, Chris opting to check the turn, emboldened Sam to fire one third pot. 6,000. Which coincidentally is about a third of what he had back. Bit of a dual purpose check protects against getting piled on with the club having hit the turn and also might induce a lesser hand to fire as it has here. Cool. And we've got one of our biggest pots of the night, if not the biggest. This Check. should be a clean river. <laughs> oh, I was really close on that one. Sam thought about it. But totally wrong about the sand. <laughs> so Decides to check back. 13,000 into 30. Didn't yeah. feel like it was going to be enough to get the job done I mean, I had against yeah, Chris no, in the did. event I that the two jacks were no good. It certainly had some me, showdown value. I said you wouldn't check if you didn't. Yeah. That's probably true. <laughs> I thought Queens, but. Oh, I'm so, so glad I didn't hear all in. It's going to be a tough one. I agree. I <laughs> yeah, no. All in. I thought it was coming for sure. I mean, I almost value shows. No, I locked out the head. <laughs> really, Jesus. I jacks. Yeah, I thought you jacks. I know, Jesus. You the club too? Yeah, damn. Yeah, well, I was you guys thinking like Sam, Sam looks like he has a big, big, big something. <laughs> I was, yeah. I thought I was going to get heroed by Ace King. I was like, I'm such a chicken. <laughs> that wasn't right. You got in uh, 10,000 chips good, I got in 40,000 chips good. Cool. Look at the patience, look at the discipline. Wow, Jack-10 suited right in the muck. Yeah. He's really hanging on to it, guys. Those two terms not typically assigned to <laughs> Alex Ding in a No Limit Hold'em game, but indeed, he's been staying out of trouble. But the two biggest winners in the game, Lock Horns and Johnson, flops a five high flush up against the nut flush draw with Broadway backup. Daniels dials back the 450 open to three and a quarter, which of course is promptly called by Chris. Oh, Jake makes Broadway on the turn with the redraw. And this is trouble. Check. 
And this is not a monsters under the bed check by Jake. He'll be pretty happy to see Chris fire 1500. Hard to flop a flush. And of course, no matter what, if Jake is wrong, he can't be drawn dead. Well, just got a text. PCR tests are extremely accurate. PCRs are. Yeah. Which is what we had, apparently. Correct. Very the different. Rapid just a rapid test early test. 70. There you go. There you go. All right, we call Well, it. I mean, I just got texted by my backers. Poker go. You know. <laughs> 47. Race. 4700. Chris looked over at Jake in a manner that suggested he certainly didn't anticipate that move. Cool. Didn't come here to fold flushes, though, as he makes the call. And such a brick river. Might Jake be thinking, Chris has a heart along with something else cooking, but not the flush. And that's a meaty over bet. 13,100. Straight. Oh. Nice hand. Now Chris always knew what he was doing. Makes the call and is now up $72,000 while Jake wow. is in the red three times. Jimmy Show. Jimmy Express. Back inside the poker after dark suite and right down to the felt. Like after the money, the money pretty much stop. Yeah, money's done. Mm. I mean, that's not what Sam's saying now. But I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, no, I'm definitely going to bust you, but like, that's <laughs> neither here nor there. Yeah. Chris, I felt like so, Alex was somehow ready. just releases Jack 10, would have been up against two jacks. Right he is doing everything right. Meanwhile, Jake, who sleeper straddled the button, makes it 1,300. Right. And Justin with the limp repop. Feel slightly oh. steamy. Hey, Chris, you get them all steamed up. Steaming Willie really Beeman. I don't blame him. Deuce three suited. Looking to crack the two jacks. Come on. Check. Daniels flops the joint. Just praying that Young's in that big ace territory here after checking this board. For that price, Justin must hang in there. And he'll draw dead okay. on the turn, though that third spade is a concern. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Jake. Just count down your purples for me, please. Puts 97.25. 45 there. 9,000. Into the middle. Five, 
95, like 10K. Right. And this context isn't lost on Justin. Just had Broadway with the nut flush draw. Fired 13,000. Got snap called by the five high flush. And here you are. With the sleeper straddle. Uh, sorry, guys. I don't have that good of a hand. Calling the limp re-raise. Good bluff, it's okay, you can show it. Feelings won't be hurt. The fact that I, the fact, to show. The fact that I called that hand and then didn't get paid off on that in the king of spades game was not great. We can get, if we can get four more. Yeah, I think we could get four more. Can we get a tee time? Uh, that's, that's the question. Whatever, dude, it's. I know. Dragon Ridge is such a joke when it comes to that kind of With stuff. With that, just because nobody shows up. Everyone just. Makes a tea time and then. All right, they should the start getting, they should start like charging people. them 50 Just bucks if they, if they do that. Of course. They don't show up. Yeah. Whatever. If, if you cancel right. within like 12 hours, then no fee. Yeah, Fine. exactly. Exactly. They should do that here. Maury should make everybody put a deposit down. You don't show up. I also not, agree. Late Sam. redging is fine. Late yeah. redging is fine. Late redging is fine. I'm saying not showing up. You I was trying to get a thousand or whatever. Cool. Actually, whoever puts the game together. Cool. Should take the deposit, not worry. Two limpers in front of the sleeper like straddle, and Daniel lets them live. I know, man. That is like we're kind of running the game at Bellagio, and like people just play. Club draw for Jake. Check. Ding check hits the queen and checks. Nobody wanting the bet. Turn adds a pair of jacks to Jake's arsenal. And a gut shot straight draw to Dings. Cool. Young with the open ender. Calls the $500. Raise $2,200. Jake puts in the raise. That looks strong in a three way pot. Calls and is in the lead. Justin decides he wants nothing to do with the open ender. Heads up. Jake rooting for a club. And he decided to put Sean again, man. That was kind of fun. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, okay. Last time he yelled at me. Yeah, because you told yeah. I heard so not only the clubs are in there, but Ford was straight on board now. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. I think that's it. Jake wants all of it. Whatever. The other person the was ready. Guy. Yeah. He looked like he was ready. So I was like, oh, go ahead and go. And he's he looked at me and was like, I want Dan to read this foot. I was like, all good. I was like, Sean, good go. Good decision. Like, I said it just like that. I was like, Sean, go ahead. And Sean just like, don't rush me, man. And he just walked towards the cart and hit it backwards. Well, after losing that monster to Chris Johnson, Jake Daniels is back, turning a couple of raggy hands into two nice pots. <laughs> I love, I love poker. Alina Jad <laughs> bringing you the call. That's my favorite, like, poker, like... Five of our original six players are in here. They started out playing quarter 50, then moved to 5,100. They were supposed to go to 100, 200, but you know what? They decided let's gamble. 200, 400 has been negotiated in this escalator format. Players were allowed a 20K buy-in, could not add on. Once the first 20K is gone, you get one reload, and then you're gone. Did we cut this first one? Or we just Alex Ding, hmm? the stack. only player on their second oh, bullet right now. Down to just uh -oh. 7,000 of it, stuck 34,000. 
It's hard to tell what that is there, Justin. And he's decided he wants oh. to get yeah, all so in for like, 6,500. Uh, Timing could right, not be worse. Justin and Chris are going to double up for his handbag. Young bikes up. Sure. Prop players. With two aces. What did he offer They're running twice. twice. Hello. I feel like I would do it on Thursday. It took him 20 minutes to set that up. That's why it's so sick. Oh. <laughs> we could have been three minutes. It took yeah, him 20 they're, minutes. They're, they're, they literally gave him the king eight. We're like, what's the minimum like Alex is going to shove here? King eight suit, do you think? Yeah, let's give him the king eight. <laughs> they probably said king six, but they wanted He looks down and he's like, let's <laughs> go. This was my line. They wanted <laughs> to a, a slam dunk. He'll probably, he'll probably straddle the first one, right? <laughs> Well, that's a lot happier than most would be with King-8 suited against two aces, and that is not a flop that looks like it's going to help Alex, but they are going to run it twice. 27-year-old crypto investor. No, I, I, had a, I had four outs. I had a gunner. I had the eight. All right, rip it. Doesn't pick up any outs on the turn, Ooh, so the no, first half tough. is tough. locked up. Just in case you were going to fold right yeah. for Justin. <laughs> Overkill with the set of aces. How did you guys get aces? God, I keep wondering. Spade in the window and another oh. one behind it. Oh, wow. So trips trips candy. Oh, look at How did you hit trips mm. right there against the My buddy Alex. So my love. The love of my life. I don't want to bust him. So the second board's running out now. I kind of hope we chop. Um, I don't know. People are making commotion back there. But I'll take whatever comes. I don't feel like the money. But that's fine. <laughs> Alex. Sick. Ace of spades is always live. Can't be drawing dead. How do you, how do you like that coming back? Yeah. You guys didn't scare me at all. Uh, no all spade right, on the end, and Alex Ding didn't stick around very long, leaving the crew to play yep. four-handed 200-400. Yep. <clears throat> I, what are the odds of one person winning all the chips? We should just play until someone wins all the chips. As you gaze upon <laughs> yeah. the legends of Poker After Dark. <laughs> 1,000. Jack 10 suited for Chris Johnson. Top. His customer out of the big blind, Jake, who is dominated. But spikes the eight Check. up against the open ender. He checks. Cross barrels two thousand into twenty six hundred. No folding with middle pair and some backdoor straightiness. The seven on the turn Check. gives Johnson the nuts. Daniels can only chop with a jack. Five thousand. A flag has been flung. Jake hangs in. Might that ace save him some money in the face of a, of a bet on the river? Daniels has not checked. All in. All in. Oops. You got it. That's usually good. And short order incineration. Well, Jake's going to have to rebuy, and we, well, we're going to have to pay some bills. Before the break, Jake Daniels made an ill timed bluff running into Chris Johnson's nut straight, and as such, he's now on his second and final buy in. 
43. Young, again, making it 1,100 to go. Daniels wagging his finger in the small with the ace-10. Sovereil huh. caught in the crossfire on the button. Hangs tough with the baby-suited ace. Not a great spot for him, but he does have the benefit of position. And a pair on the deuce four five flop. Both players with the wheel draw. All in. All in. Go on. Yeah. Daniels in. says all in. Twice is fine. Snap call with the four, huh? Sammy? <laughs> Jesus. That's aggressive. Daniel run twice. Stop. <laughs> That's oh, aggressive. Yeah, you know, think about it. That's, That's aggressive. <laughs> I know, yeah. I thought you were going to bet like 3000 I was going to show. Uh, I guess I should have just had eights and we've been really good, I guess. Eights would have done it. <laughs> I think eights does it every time. Seven of diamonds on the turn doesn't help Jake. Needs a three for a chop on this board or a ten for a W. Successful How much is that? Bid. I think it's 15-3. <coughs> I don't even know if I have that much. 15-3. I don't I know definitely if I have that much. 75. Six, seven. Another That's seven. That's a very familiar f round card. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Countdown has begun. 13, 14. 15, 3. Repay in progress. Can we see 6th Street, please? <laughs> For good reason. Cool. And Jake does not My plan seem was to always cover it flop no matter what. Oh, <laughs> so you know, I mean, like, I don't care what the flop is. Where's the book? Uh, it should be with Jake. I opened under the gun. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Well, Sovereign's been patient. Predominantly a spectator and rewarded in that spot, digging in against Jake with the ace four. Finds himself up 21,000 now. All right. Professional poker player, high roller specialist, earned himself the title in the 2019 Poker Masters. Does have a bracelet from back in 2016. Still relatively short in the tooth at 30 years of age. You look kind of lonely over there, buddy. I am. Hanging out. Hopefully not too much longer. Uh, option. All in. All in. It's 3,000. Huh. Daniels. It's 3,000 even. Ready to rip. Oh, sorry, 2,600. That's a yeah, real hand another, in yeah, a good spot. I didn't it's realize Jack it was 2,600. I was doing a show. I'm sweating the game. Yeah. <laughs> Once or twice? Once. Okay. One. Two, two times, two 26. times. No, one time. Oh, one, one time. time. Yeah, one time. 26. You want to see? Yes, one okay, cool. time. Oh, Jake. I have that. <laughs> oh, you don't feel it. I, wow. I don't, I'm not feeling good about okay. it at all. Wow. Put the prepay over there. Chop it up. Replete with pessimism. I don't know, man. I know I need this over. You got the over too. Given the board. Pats in the over. Yeah, I mean the over. It's not a great score for the over. There you wow. go. <laughs> I wasn't feeling it. I was just ultra thought. I, I, I didn't feel it. You're like some kind of masochistic magician. I wasn't, wasn't feeling good. He just pre made. <laughs> good game, boys. See you, buddy. Yeah, see you guys. Seals Jake Daniels evening as a two bullet loser. Feel free to take loser. a pull on the way out if you want. Right. Cool, buddy. <laughs> And Tom looks mystified. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Napa Auto Parts and Auto Care Centers. Do it yourself or have it done for you. That's Napa know-how. And by Cuervo Tradicional, made with 100% agave since 1795.
Young limps the button with 7-8 suited. A hand plenty good enough to open raise with. Sandra wakes up with two queens, and now Johnson with ace-2 suited looks up at the raise. Comes along. Young's clubs in a world of hurt. Oh. He'll try to work his hand in a different direction. How much do you have? Just a big chance. I just can't. 85. Comes along and 14. flops an Nine. open ender. Johnson hits the ace. Slipping yeah. ahead of the queens. Out of position against both players. Sam checks it. Check. Check. Johnson and Young do the same. Hello, Queen of Diamonds. Check. Savril just hoping someone's got an ace here and will get to betting on this turn. No dice. Check. Sam, still begging for someone to bet. Johnson can't resist any longer. Bets to 2,000. Quick fold out of eight high. What's the number? Is the game we're playing with Sovereign's hand? Eleven dimes. Nine thousand for Chris to call. Well, I wish I would have checked now. Oh, sorry. Chris trying to put the puzzle pieces together here. Obviously, 10 jack is possible. Sorry, 30 seconds. Calls the 9,000. Big pot over to Sam Sovereil. Heavily narrowing the gap between himself and Chris. Well played. Oh, why don't I check? For Chris Johnson. Dumbass. Trended in the wrong direction in that third frame. Justin Young, bit of a non-event. Stuck a little over five dimes. Nothing he'll lose sleep over. Sam Sovereil up 56,000. And Chris Johnson, after being up 99K, just one tick shy of the six figure win, slips all the way back to a $69,000 win. Still best on the day. Next time on Poker After Dark. I'm going to play quickly. Saving chips isn't sexy. It's the first sit and go of the season. <laughs> but on TV, it may make you look stupid if you're wrong. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Faraz Jaka and James Romero start strong. Chip later. <laughs> While Justin Saliba and Jonathan Little start some trouble. What happens if you don't play poker in a long time? Yeah, we folded eight. Yeah. Yeah.